Hey friend, welcome back. We are going to continue on with our creative series. I totally appreciate that you guys come back to my channel, that you're here taking a look, expanding your horizons, and ready and willing to open up to a whole new reality that literally is waiting for you. It's waiting. So why do I say that? Now, if we, you've, you may, if you've followed me in the past, you may have heard me say this before. If you were to take the entire human design body graph and the mandala, color it all in, the universal mechanics create an emotional manifesting generator. Why is that significant? Well, that is significant to us because we must, we must begin to learn how to ask the universe high level questions so that the responses that we get from the universe are ones that we can recognize, that we can become aware of, so that we can see them. So in our call today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge you to begin asking higher level questions. As I say, the universe is waiting. Again, that's what an emotional manifesting generator does. It waits. Is there creation happening inside the waiting? Always. This isn't about being stagnant. This isn't about sitting around eating bonbons. The universe isn't you know, oh, woe is me. Nobody's asked me the right questions. I'm not going to respond. That's not what it is. It is waiting for your high level questions so that it can provide you with all the potential, with all of the possibilities, so that your internal strategy and authority can then engage with what it is showing you. You've heard me say this in the past, that generators, manifesting generators, what they are here to do is respond to the request for the energy. That's exactly what the universe is doing. The universe is responding to the requests for its energy. Are you following me here? If you're following me, smash that like button, you know, share my podcast, get this out to all the people you love. Because the 2027 shift is happening and it's happening quickly. We see the destruction. It is starting to break down and the cross of planning is so, so trying to hold on. Okay. So I want you to get this at a very deep level. I want you to learn how to visualize. I want you to learn how to use your imagination, like we talked about in the last video. And I also want you to learn how to ask really high level questions to the consciousness field. This consciousness field, it is nothing. And yet it is everything. That's how we create. There's not one scientist on this planet that understand it, understands it, and that doesn't matter. Whether we have a scientific explanation for what the consciousness field is or not, this is how we create. And we create by asking it high-level questions and then allowing it to respond to that request. We can create worlds. You and I, every time we close our imagination and we see ourselves in the reality that we want to hold, what we are doing is we are putting the Lego blocks out there. We are putting the Lego blocks together so that in that imaginary, ima imaginary, <laughs> just created that word, in that imaginative world, what will happen is we create it and then our 3D reality shows up. So 
That's why I got you to do some exploration in the first, in the first video and podcast of this series. What do you truly want? Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you about high-level questions. What we do as human beings is we start asking the question, why? Why me? Why did this happen? Why can't I have that? Why is that person better than I am? Why are they more successful than me? Why am I more successful than them? Why is that person saying that to me? Why is that person, you know, being so rude to me? Why in the, why this, why that? We ask that question and guess what happens is why questions will actually go back into the subconscious mind and it's going to reason, it's going to pull out a reason. Why is this happening? And 98% of the time, okay, I'm not saying that we shouldn't use why, but why creates a victim mentality because it will reason it will provide a reason for the whys. It doesn't matter why it's happening, okay? What matters is that you learn to shift your questioning so that you can then become more aware of your creative abilities versus the subconscious mind trying so desperately to protect you from being hurt again so it will come up with every rational thought process trying to get you to not go forward. But creativity and asking questions like, what? What do I need to see here? What do I need to learn here? Was there something in the conversation that I need to really go back and highlight? What can I help my clients see, hear, you know, grow through, whatever that looks like? What am I here to experience so that I can then help the people in my world? These are higher level questions. And then what the universe does is it says, oh, She's requesting information. She's requesting experiences, she or he, sorry. And now all of a sudden what you can do is you can become aware of all of the different potentials that the universe drops in in front of you. And then depending on your strategy and your own inner authority, you will then know which one of those potentials to engage with. But the minute we question why, 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 the victim mentality and reasoning ourselves into a not self position is 98% of the time that's what's going to happen. So ask what? Don't worry about the how. <laughs> I also get this all the time in my coaching program. Every time I'm coaching my clients. Well, how do I do this? How do I do that? How am I going to do this? That keeps us stuck in this reality in the moment. The universe is designed for the how. It is an emotional manifesting generator. It is going to deliver for you. It is going to do the heavy lifting. That's what a manifesting generator does. It does the heavy lifting, it uses its energy. So we get very caught up in the how. I want you to lean deeper into the what. What do I need to see? What do I need to experience? What kind of software programs do I need? What is my client really truly coming to me for? And then all of a sudden, something will pop up. That new software program is going to come up. And it'll be like, oh, I do need this. Because I need to have an interface, like Zoom, to interact with my clients. Okay, great. Poof. I can sign up here. 
and I can get this part of my business up and running. So what you'll find is that the minute that you ask the what questions, the universe provides how that can happen in your business. Now, it might give you 10 different possibilities, 10 different potentials. And then you get to go into your inner authority and your, use your strategy so that you know which one to interact with. So the question, try very hard to ask most of your questions with what. Leave how and why for a different kind of coaching and a different kind of prompting, okay? But if you want to do internal conversation, what? Okay, you know, where can I, you know, where can I have this interaction? Where can I, hmm, see my best clientele. Move into those where questions so that the universe can then, you know, maybe drop in a scent. All of a sudden, you start to smell coffee. Let's just say that. And you're like, oh. And you're driving in town or you're walking around town or you go to your neighbor's house and that exact smell of coffee, maybe they got a little bit of a vanilla flavor in there, happens to be wafting through. Okay, this is your hint. <laughs> Start to pay attention here. You asked for the where, here it is. You know, maybe the scent is um, flowers. Maybe the scent is baking. You know, maybe the scent is, um, uh, like a woodworking shop where you smell all the, the wood being um, cut and, and, and um, that sensation of that. You know, where can I go to hear what my clients need? And poof, all of a sudden, a brand new podcast shows up in your, in your feed. So ask those higher level questions and the universe can say, hey, here's a possibility for you. So this week's homework, okay? In the second series of the creative series, in the second uh, step, learn to ask high level questions. If you catch yourself asking why or how, just start to revise those. Mm. Thanks for asking that question. However, what is it that I actually need to learn here? Instead of why did this thing happen to me? You know, what did I, what did I need to see here so that I can shift my perspective or shift my reality or connect with those correct clients? Or maybe the, the, there's a job promotion happening. And you really want that position. You know, what are the, some of the things that I need to be aware of so that when I go into the interview, I can absolutely be bang on with my presence. So today it's all about questioning. The universe is a manifesting generator with emotional authority. Ask the high level questions, get a high level response. Low level questions triggers a reactionary mind. And the mind, <laughs> the low level density mind, it's actually not here for ourselves, okay? We're designed to go beyond into the consciousness field when we want to connect with our with our higher mind those low level density questions they will never be able to provide you with what it is that you need because the same exact not self mind that created the problem cannot provide a solution okay this week just Google 
<laughs> what questions? Begin to watch yourself. Do you want a different career? Do you want to operate a business? Do you want to um, retire? Do you want to travel? Do you want to be free of time, of any kind of constraints? And now you go, what do I need to see? What do I need to experience? What do I need to hear? What do I need to touch? So that you can gain the awareness and then follow the strategy and authority to the correct next breadcrumb. So high level questions, drop in the chat, um, send me an email, whatever it is, tell me what happens when you change your internal questioning, when you connect with a higher level of consciousness. Let's see exactly how beautiful your reality creation can be by using higher level questions. All right, till next time, have a great day.